Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Mead Plays. Today we're going to be looking at the Pavlov's dog game. So, quick and easy way to get there. Google search Pavlov dog game and it should be one of the top hits. You can see Nobel Prize educational games, so you know it's high quality. So go into this one. A uh, bit dated, you're going to have to allow flash. So let's go play game and we're going to have to allow flash play here and we should jump straight into it. Let's have a look. All right, Pavlov's dog. Can you make a dog drool on command? Sounds pretty easy. Let's have a go. All right, he's sleeping. His name's Ivan. He's a good inside gag, Ivan Pavlov. Let's see what we can do here. We got a bell, drum, horn, some sausages. Looks like a Christmas ham and some bananas. So let's go. Let's give him the drums. Oh, he's a bit worried. No, he didn't like that. Going to sleep, all right though. Try it again. Yeah, not too phased. Drums, they don't mean much to him. So let's see how do you reckon he feels about bananas. Bananas are good for you, Ivan. Let's have a crack. Let's play some drums while he's doing that. Oh, he's not a fan of bananas. He's like my youngest son. Let's have a look. What else can we give him? Can I lose the banana? Drums, have a look, Ivan. Oh, not phased. Well, I know. I've got a feeling he's going to be a sucker for a Christmas ham. Let's have a look. Let's go, Bell. Let's whack a ham in there. How do you like that, Ivan? Yes. Yeah, he's happy. Look at that tail going. All right. Yeah, you like that. Let's try it again. So let's go, Bell. Oh, he's happy. Let's whack a ham in there. Oh, yeah, he's happy days. All right, back to sleep he goes. Oh, let's try. Let's go, Bell. And let's put a sausage. Oh, I've missed him. He's gone to sleep. Oh. No, he's still liking that. Tail's going. That's a good sign. All right, if I got him, let's try. Let's see. Is he going to salivate to the bell this time? What? Nothing? Oh, come on, Ivan. Oh, hang on. What's happened there? I was giving you sausages. Oh. All right, Ivan. One more time. Hey, it's sausage. Yeah, there you go. I thought so. Yeah, he's happy. Let's try again. Bell. Sausage. Bell equals sausage. Yeah, he's happy now. Although, I'm a bit worried about my sausage stockpile here. I'm running quite low. Bell, could get ham in it. Ham in it. Yes. All right, have I done enough? Let's have a look. I've run out of ham and I've run out of sausages. Just like being in isolation with a couple of kids at home. How do we go? It didn't work. Oh, it will take a longer time for the animal to learn if you confuse it with different signals before feeding. So maybe too much drumming. Uh, let's have a go. What have I done wrong? Uh, well, I've had enough of the bell. I wanted to try the horn. Let's see if we can do the horn. It should work with any stimulus. But the horn means... Oh, jeez, no. The horn's really giving a fright there. Yeah, he's a bit nervous about the horn. He's angry now. Alright. Yeah. Right, he doesn't like being asleep. Let's see if I can go horn sausage. Let's change that tone, Ivan. Yep, sausages will always get them on side. Right, so he currently didn't like the belt. Uh, didn't like the horn, did he? But if I can get if I can get these quick enough. Yeah, so I reckon what my issue was the first time around is my two stimuli were too far apart. He was falling asleep by the time I got the sausage in the bowl. So I go really quick here. Go horn sausage. Well, I reckon we might be in here. Come on, let's have a crack. Should we do one more? Or we just try the horn by itself. Oh, he's happy. Oh no! Oh, I missed. Oh, I nearly missed him. Got to get those stimulus really close together. Come on, Ivan. We can do a horn. Christmas ham. Ah, I didn't need to. He'd already done it. Well, he's graduated, which is great. Um, the Christmas ham eating school. Funnily enough, that's where I did my education. Uh, it take a long time for the animal to learn if you confuse with different signals, but we've got him there. So the takeaway from this, let's rewind. Takeaway from this is that you need to get the two stimuli really close together. So bell sausage or bell ham. All right, get it really, really close together. Otherwise, the dog doesn't know that there's a pairing between the two. So during that association phase, we want the neutral stimulus bell and con the unconditioned stimulus being the Christmas ham. Christmas ham always brings joy. 
to be really close together. Let's go. Bell, Ham. Look, bang, Ivan. Right. Fingers crossed. I've got him here. I'm just going to try the bell with our knee ham. I'm going to live dangerously here. I've run out of ham. Bell. Yes, we got him. He's drooling. No more hams, Ivan. Too bad. It's just a bell. But he's got his diploma anyway. So we've classically conditioned Ivan here to salivate just to a bell. All right, I'll take my Nobel Prize in the mail. And thanks for playing. Don't forget to check in next time. We'll be playing some more conditioning games.